Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my high knee sweets. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if you want to. I'm going to talk to you guys about something that's so comical to me. Like, really, really funny to me. Um, this Jim Jones thing. Jim Jones going at Pusha T. Jim Jones is not on Pusha T level lyrically. Um, and... Drake thinking that he gonna get Jim Jones to destroy or pick Chinks and push a teeth armor. It's hilarious because um I mean I get it. Jim Jones was up for the challenge, you know what I'm saying? Willing to take the money to go and pretend to snipe push. Like yeah, I don't I don't he he's Jim Jones ain't no sniper. But anyway. So, but Jim Jones, he was he was willing to take the money and try. Um, Jim Jones will keep going, right? Um, Jim Jones can't rap. I ain't trying to play Jim Jones like that. He can't rap, but Pusha T is way out of his league. So, it's just funny to me that he got that attention from Drake and... Getting that check from Drake, and he like, I'm gonna go full throttle while we're here at Push. Like, like Push ain't a force to be reckoned with. That Jim Jones can't properly or successfully push back. But yeah, Jim Jim definitely is gonna keep going um, and try. So I guess Drake money wasn't wasted in that regard. But Drake told us, he said, he don't forget a thing. He's patient. It's a gift. That boy wasn't lying. Because he ain't forgot that L and he ain't gotten over that L. And although he's sending Jim to be his sniper against Pusher, he still won't Kanye and, and still plotting and working his revenge on Kanye, right? So, Kanye... Very well, actually, we know both these men are very well thought out, right? Kanye and Drake are very well thought out, strategic, um, type of people. But Kanye was just already still, even one in this regard, is choosing a better sniper. Um, I did a video about it, which I'm gonna put in the description or link of this video that I originally did on the Kanye, um getting pushed to be his sniper to put a chink in Drake's armor, if not take him out, um, which they were successful in that. Um, so I want y'all to check out that video if y'all hadn't already of what the source and reason behind all of that was. And in that video, I also included um, what the problem and issue was between Drake and um, Nicki Minaj at that time as well. But anyway... Kanye have already won again just in the fact that Kanye chose to push a T as his sniper and Drake chose a Jim Jones as his sniper. So it's just funny. Like the runway push a T in my opinion is already in the lead as far as the runway song this song that he did, you know? As far as him and this Jim Jones things. Um to me, Jim Jones ain't on push a level. He's not about to be able to snipe him or even pay a, a chink in his armor. Like, at most, what this is, is something just good for the people to be able to hear some diss tracks go back and forth and get a laugh out of, some entertainment out of, hear some bars, you know? But it's nothing more than that. Jim Jones is good for the fight and the fact that he was up for it, right? Drake gave him some attention in the check and he said, I'll go after Pusha T, even though Pusha T might as well. This is no disrespect to Jim Jones. I do feel Jim Jones can rap. I just don't feel that he's comparable or on the level of Pusha T. Um, with, so I want y'all to tell me what y'all think. Who, what y'all think about this? Now, Jim Jones got some attention to check from Drake. He said, yeah, I'll go, right? And it's not you need that. Someone, someone who's willing to go. Um, 
Jim Jones, not to type little bags down, I guess you can say. So maybe that's that's a plus. Jim Jones is going willing to go toe to toe, you know. Um, that's really all I can see. He's not going to successfully snipe him. Jim Jones can't rap. If he was you, if Drake was choosing Jim to be a sniper against somebody like one of these newer rappers, then cool. My money would be on Jim to succeed. But I don't get technically even wins again is this by default in the fact of this is who Drake chose as his sniper to come against a heavy hitter like Push. Um... I think this is kind of also making Jim look like a lap dog. You know? The fact he throwing himself out there and kind of like cuck holding Drake to, to come after Pusha T. But people do gotta eat, so I guess so. It's just comical to me. It's just comical. I don't see how this benefits Drake on any level other than just to show he can choose dudes who he should be. They should be his OG too. That he's actually OG in them and got them doing putting in work for him. You know what I'm saying? Like this should be it should be in reverse as anything, but. It's basically like Jim looked funny and crazy to me that he let Drake little bro him. And that he jumping out there, taking all these shots at push. And I'm still trying to figure out what makes Drake think that this was a good move to make as a sniper. When if I was shooting a sniper, I would be like a Kanye. I'm about to strategically plot on this. And if I was a sniper, I'm going to be like a pusher T. I'm going to strategically plot on this. Where are my strengths in comparison to the person I'm being asked to snipe strengths are? You know what I'm saying? Where are their weaknesses? Do I have a high percentage chance on being successful with this? You know what I'm saying? Like, which I'm sure Pusha T took when he contemplated on, okay, Kanye asking me to do this. Is it worth it for me to? What's my likelihood of success? What angle should I come from? Um, what means should I use to do so? Um, and stuff like that. It don't seem like to me that Drake or Jim Jones took any of this into account. It seemed like to me that Drake, his plan went as far as who can I get that to do it? That's somewhat respected in in hip hop, right? And that has some talent and that'd be willing to do it. It seemed like to me that's as far as Drake went with it. Where Kanye of course we know went more in depth than that with choosing his sniper. And it seems Jim Jones has just went in well I, I can grab so I'm a I'm gonna poke him, bait him, draw him out. Oh, mm, I just thought about something. Okay, I just thought about something. Drake chose Jim Jones, someone who is respected and has some skill level. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna write the bars. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Drake is going to write the bars. The distance that he wants in there, the stuff he wants exposed or highlight or whatever he's going to be the one to write it so when we hear the next this song from um from lap dog jim jones i'm going to check to see if it sound like or put together in a way that drake would would say we're right so maybe that's the thing drake said okay it's going to be my bars once we actually get into this, but I'm gonna get someone who I know willing to go up for the task, right? Willing to bait him, poke, and do a toe for toe with, with him. 
and I need to get someone who has some skill level and someone who has some respect in the game. Because at first I'm thinking like that's as minimal as Drake took it. But now I'm thinking like, no, he did go a bit dip, deeper. He said, I need someone who willing to do it, has some respect in the game, has some skill level. But I'm going to be the one who write the bars. Which means Jim is even more of a lap dog. Because this is my thing. I just threw my opinion, and I don't know where I already broke the the thing on it, and now my little cute pink pen I'm through. So now I'm looking at it from that angle. But I really need y'all to tell me what y'all think about um the Jim Jones and Pusha T. If you think that they're equally matched for uh beef, right? For um to compete against each other. If y'all think that Jim could possibly be successful in sniping um, Pusha T, or a Kanye for that matter. If y'all think Drake um, thought this all the way through, chose successfully, if Drake will be the one who will be writing the disses, the bars um, for Jim to stand to push. Um, if y'all view this as a right, where Jim should be Drake's OG, um, Jim is being little bro by Drake, because even the way he, he did it to me seems sloppy, the way you jumped out there like a little lap dog, like a chihuahua, like Drake gave, he picked you up, gave you a pat on your back, you know what I'm saying? Came out on stage with you or put you on his stage, gave you a shout out and put a check in your pocket. And then you just went running out the yard and barking at Push. Like, that's how it looked to me. Like, he ran, ran out the yard, just barking at Push. You know what I'm saying? Until Push responded. Um, but Jim does have enough respect that, of course, Push was like, okay, I'm going to respond to this. And I think Push is having some fun with it, looking at it like, I know who sent you. The same way. Drake wasn't having fun with it, but he knew who sent Push. He knew Kanye sent the sniper. That's why the majority of his bars was to Kanye. But we said, uh-uh, you can't do that. Because although I get that that's who you really pissed off, that's the person with the bread on your head, that's the person who can keep sending the snipers even if this one doesn't succeed. So I get why your attention will be focused on him. But no, you got to, your bars got to be to the person who you in this rap beef with, you know? That's why Push told him, uh-uh. Keep Kanye name out these verses. I want all of the curses. I'm pre-booking the churches in the hearse, the, whatever you say. Yeah. Push is too out cold for Jim Jones. Come on, now. He was too out cold for Drake. As far as strategy, bars, talent, willing to go, keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jim Jones, strategic bone went as far as Drake is one of the biggest in the world. Drake is giving me a check and a look for this. Um, I can get publicity. I think it seems like to me that's as far as his strategy went. I don't, it don't seem like to me Jim Pitt and strategy in the fact like, okay, Push is somebody who can sit me on my ass. And if he sits me on my ass... This publicity was only used to bury me because now I'm looked at as a joke by true rap heads and rap fans who are going to look at this as one of the biggest L's. Where now my momentum getting back out here, um, just look, I'll just be looking just as goofy as Drake was looking. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's just what I'm saying. Like, um... Who do y'all think is somebody better that Drake could have had chosen as a sniper to go against Push? Thing is, he wouldn't be able to get those people. They're not going to go against Push. He couldn't get a Fab. He couldn't get a um, Locks. He can't get a Ghostface. He can't get. He can't get anybody who could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Push to go against Push because their alliances, even if not with Push, aren't with him and they have more respect for Push 
in this industry than what they would of him. You know what I'm saying? Then you gotta think of the people who they not quick to jump around for money because all money don't make sense. So it's like, mm, you know, they just looking more thoroughly at things. So I can't even really think of anyone Drake, Drake actually would have even been able to get to do this other than Jim. So I guess he had to go with what was in his arsenal, you know, what he had at his disposal and Jim must have been the best fit. The person that'd be willing to jump out there for what he was offering to get him, which was a look in the check. And but they still have some respect behind their name. But Jim looked goofy to me doing this. Where could I have flipped that pen to? I have no clue. Now I gotta give me another pen. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Jake the bottom is looking at. But I want y'all to check out. Let me see if this pen too need to work. But I want y'all to check out my um previous video, which I am gonna put in comments out. Um, and and tell me what y'all think. And if y'all think that any bars will be sent Kanye way by Jim Jones during this rap beat, um, I know they were saying that Push had three or four more days. They said it took it took Jim four days to respond, so they was giving Push the same amount of days, but. It pushes um, our in Paris doing the wrong way. He doesn't necessarily have the time to do it that fast. Even though some were saying that they believe he already got multiple things already written and on wax. Um, I'm not so sure about it though. Yeah, I'm not so sure about it, but. Of course, my money is on push one in this very easily, too, at that. Um, I think that Drake is going to be writing the bars for Jim. I think that this is just about to be another L Drake takes. Um, and we'll see what more comes from this rap beat this and got started and what i'm wondering is do you think since push no it is drake who sent jim do you think he will add in some bars to go at aubrey which i think he will i think he already was adding in bars to go at aubrey too but um if y'all know who aubrey is that's drake's name but um but yeah, give me you guys thoughts. Thanks for checking out this video. And like I said, I'm going to pick my other video I did about the initial beef with Kanye and Drake. And the comments, go check that out. Because that goes into far more detail. Because um, of course, that had already played its course. So it goes into far more detail of stuff that was going on. As well as the beefs with other people. As well as the size people were clearly choosing. Because as we know, during that whole... Um, beef between Kanye, Drake, and Push. The whole industry was in Wyoming with Kanye when that happened. Like the industry had chosen sides, they were all in Wyoming with Kanye West. The darn near the entire industry. Um, so with Drake knew then, like, oh shit, they all want me out of here. I'm on the island by myself, which is why a lot of Drake's hooks and songs. We're saying what he was saying after then once he peeped that like oh damn everybody was in on this or knew what was the comment said me um that's why he went to say and actually on his latest album no friends in the industry um that's why he was stating that these dudes all want him out the way they can't eat but that's also taught him a valuable lesson where he said and realized oh i need to be letting dudes eat um and I need to do some 
bridging because right when stuff come down to this you don't want to be on an island by yourself you don't want the entire industry hating you because you starving wolves out you know what i'm saying so that did promote drake to start doing more um um to start doing more features like adding people onto his stuff um or getting onto other people's stuff so he would have some alliances with more people especially new people that came up in um and stuff like that so it did help him better his game but yeah he had realized that he had a lot of people in the industry pissed off um and as y'all all know, it was all real estate wars. Yeah, some jealousy and hating, but it was real estate wars. You can't be trying to ride three lanes. Like, if you look at it in terms of real estate, right? It was about Drake doing pop, rap, as well as R&B. So, let's say that you doing commercial real estate as well as residential real estate as well as government contracts. Let's say it in terms of that. And you doing all three and getting the majority of all of them. You don't think it's going it ain't gonna be other real estate agents, um, and stuff like that pissed off. Like you done sewn up all three of these lanes and like nobody else supposed to eat but you and stuff like that. So yeah, people were pissed and kind of you said no, nah, this ain't about to go like this as an OG. I'm about to sit your ass down somewhere, you know. So he, uh, Kanye just was opening up the market, and yeah, it might have been a little bit of jealousy there as well, but um, he still was was smart and strategic. He got to open up the market, and a lot of people were in support of that. They weren't big enough to go against Drake, though, and try and close him out of any markets or remove him from having certain bids. So, yeah, they was in support of a giant like Kanye being able to go up against him and say him down. Kanye was smart. Like, I don't want to look like the evil guy. Drake gonna know what's good. But as far as the masses, the public, and my images, I'm not gonna let everyone see that from me. So yeah, he got a sniper. He he got Pusha T to go sniper. And of course, Push had no problem with that. He had problems with young money or say cash money. So Push had no problem with that. He said, you know, Push very calculated guy said you know let me do my pros and cons on each sector and he said yeah i got him i could do this so he took it and he put some chinks in his armor i had to sit down for a minute and cleared up some real estate to be you know free for others um so now you have drake saying i'm about to send my sniper to come and push right because he, he still, to a degree, suffering from that ill, you know. And I think it's more than just his ego, just suffering from that ill. But anyway, the ego by yourself is enough to make a person say, I'm getting revenge. I'm not letting that go. And I've been knew he wasn't going to let it go against Kanye. That's why he's still in every album been sending hate to Kanye. Um... But yeah, he said, I'm going to get Jim Jones to snipe Pusha T. How? How? Like I said, it must be with him writing. Because how he came up with Jim, I don't know. And this is not to play Jim. I love Capo, you know. But, yeah. Anyway, y'all tell me what y'all thoughts are. Have a good evening.